Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson. Happy New Year, year 2021. Let's hope this year is going to be better. And to make it better, I'm going to be showing you how I designed this logo here. Now, this logo was for a company called The Apian Way. It was a cosmetics company. And I showed you this in my client look back video that I did last week. And you guys love that video. So I thought it would be really cool if I showed you how I actually went in Illustrator and designed this. Not only that, we have new features and updates in Adobe Illustrator that will help you with this and other things like it. To find out about the updates, stick around to the end of the video. You'll really like it. Before we get into this, I just want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you'd like 20% off, use the coupon code in the description. So here's the logo that I worked on. It's in its normal form with just paths. Now, a lot of you guys may know how to do this. Some of you may not. And there's a few ways of going around it, but we've got a new way today. And that is with the radial repeat tool that has just been added from the iPad into normal Illustrator on the desktop. Okay, so this logo is meant to be a B or something like a B, but I didn't want to go ahead and create a B logo because that's one very generic. Also, it can freak people out. Some people don't like Bs, they're scared of them. So the best way of me creating the logo for the brand after a lot of sketching and brainstorming, which you can see in the video link down below, was to come up with this sort of symmetrical, bug-like, but very elegant and high upper class logo. Now the way that I did it first of all was with a circle. I brought out a perfect circle and I basically duplicated it and this is the shape that we want inside. We're just going to get it to the exact amount. I'm going to move this up so I can get it correct to about there. In Illustrator, if you don't know, you can create shapes within shapes. That's how most logos are created, by taking away shapes. So to get the shape that's inside of these two circles, the one that's intersecting there, we want to press intersect in the Pathfinder options down here, which is just there, intersect. Now we've got our own shape. It's taken the shape that was in the middle and made it ours. Now there are a few ways to do everything in Illustrator, but we've got an easier way that helps create patterns and everything for your design. So the one that I wanna show you is radial repeat very quick. Now if we highlight the shape and go up to object and down to repeat, we can go to radial. Now when we do this, we get this cool looking, you know, radial repeating of that shape there. Now we've got these controls on the side. This one takes the instances of that shape and you can like create loads of them little of them you can do whatever you like over here this will create how far they are together to the middle in the radial and you can spin them around and do some cool stuff this one shows you where it will start and end so you can increase them there and not there and what we can do is create cool designs out of this the other repeating option is in here and it's called grid and this will repeat within a grid so now we've got a grid filled with these inside my bounding box. We can change how far the grid is, top and bottom. We can like go ahead and move the whole thing and create a gridded pattern. And again, it's all adjusted like this with these parameters up here. We can change these, how close they are together within this grid formation. So we can create really cool, funky looking designs like so like a chain link fence. The other one is down here, repeat, we've got mirror, which basically does what it, you think it does. It just mirrors them and you can move them like this. We can move it up and like change the way that it goes around, change the spacing of them, which way it goes. So those are the new three repeating things that you can do inside of Illustrator. Now, the way I did this logo is not that way. I actually went ahead and did it the old school way by basically copying the shape a few times. Now the way that I first did it was working on one side because the shape is actually just the same. It's just mirrored across. So I'm gonna go ahead, alt drag, and I'm gonna press R for my rotational tool, hold shift, and I'm gonna rotate it just once and it should snap to that rotation. I'm gonna rotate it again, a little bit more without the R to get it to about there. I'm gonna scale this down ever so slightly and move it up a bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to press Command C and Command F this time. Use my rotational, I'm gonna rotate it down. I'm gonna scale this down a bit so it fits here. And then I'm gonna change these parameters so it goes right where it should be. Obviously, I'm not gonna get it perfect, 
because it did take a long time to perfect this and get it right. The thicknesses are very easily changed. And again, these are all created out of very geometric shapes. So this is a great way of creating a logo. I'm gonna put a guide down to here because that's where I want this shape to land as well, just to get it nicely guided in there. And then finally, I'm gonna just shove this down a bit, shrink it, squeeze it. And we've got the basic wing shape. We don't need to worry about the other side because we're just going to use these components for over there as well. But the first thing I want to do is go ahead and create like the antenna by just drawing one stroke there and one stroke here. We can edit these later. Change the curvatures very carefully so we get a nice round curve here. We can even go into outline mode by pressing command Y and that will help us come up with these nice easy lines to see what the curve is like. Very important in logo design to have nice curves in there with few anchor points. That looks about right. Then we're going to go ahead and bring out a circle and change it from a fill to a stroke by pressing command X or just going basically down here and switching them like so. This is going to rest at the end as part of the antennae. So now that looks good on one side, before I get rid of all this stuff down here, which is very easy to do, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of different options to get it to mirror over very easily. First one is the one that I normally use, which to me is the easiest for this type of method because it's so precise is using the reflect tool. So press O or go to the reflect tool, making sure that you've got only the wings and the antennae selected. Go down to here, make sure smart guides are on and then press Alt R option and click. Make sure it's reflecting vertically and you'll see there, if you have preview turned on, it will just reflect to the other side. Press copy and you've got it there. The other new option is the one that I showed you before, which is mirror, so select all of this left side, not touching this one. We don't need a copy of that. Go to object, repeat, mirror, and then drag this to where it needs to be. Obviously, you can mess around with it now and get it into the right space and boom. So now that we have the final shape that we need, we need to go ahead, alt drag them and make it into a logo that we can use. You can also change the thickness of the stroke up here, which I'm using right now probably a 12 year 12 point stroke so to get rid of these little things down here all we need to do is highlight all of these things press shift and m and then we're going to go ahead drag it over them holding alt or option and get rid of them just like so the next step is to make these two come to the front by highlighting them right clicking arrange bring to front and in fact i'm going to bring this over top here like so so the lines go over and we're going to get rid of these two here as well because they're intersecting. Now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and make another copy, alt drag, we're going to drag him down. We're going to go to object, path, outline stroke. And that will outline these strokes so they're just shaped. But they're all not together still. They're kind of still, you know, broken apart. So we're going to highlight this. And we're going to press unify or unite. And now that we've done that, we can scale this. We can change the color to whatever we like, to our heart content, making sure it's the brand color. And we've got the logo that we need. If you're a designer and you need to find clients, you need a portfolio, you need a place online where you can put your work that you can customize, have your own beautiful little corner off the internet. Well, Squarespace is sponsoring this video today to let you know that you can get 20% off getting a beautiful website design for you to show your work on. I've been using Squarespace for nearly six years. I think it's actually over six years now to show my work, host all my blog posts, even sell brushes and online resources for designers and a place where clients can communicate with me through email. Squarespace has thousands of customizable templates for you to choose from to make your site truly your own and to give you a great experience. For 20% off Squarespace and to get a free trial, click the link down below in the description. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. It's amazing to see so many people watching and liking it. If you did enjoy it and you think of a video that you would like to know of, then let me know. Comment that as well down in the description. But don't go yet. If you have stayed to the end, say lemon in the comments. And also, there's a video just here. It's waiting for you. Go ahead and click that. You'll really enjoy it. Do it. Click it now. I won't be mad as long as you click it now.
Click it now.